Okay, so the question asks to evaluate the surface integral where S is the triangular region with the following vertices. Um, a few things to do here. First, we have to characterize uh, this surface that we have made up of three vertices. And if uh, you look at what we've got here, uh, it's simply, if we can uh, plot these points really quick, on the x, y, z, uh, we have 1, 0, 0, 0, negative 2. So let's just say negative 2 is here. And uh, 0, 16, 0. Uh, I mean 0, 0, 16, so 16 up the z-axis. So clearly what we have here is the equation of a plane. And uh, we can easily write out the equation of this plane if we just put x, y, z. Here's the trick. Line them up. Set this equal to 1. And this plane intersects the x-axis at 1, 0, 0. So if I were to eliminate y and z, I'm supposed to get 1 for the x, and I do, if I just leave the coefficient of x to be 1. Now, if I, re if I substitute 0, 0 for x, z, I'm supposed to get y equals minus 2, and the right-hand side is 1, so if I can simply divide this by minus 2, I can achieve that. Um, and I would get minus 2. And likewise, uh, if I uh, plug in 0, 0 for y, I'm supposed to get 16 for z. So far, z is 1, so if I divide this by 16, I achieve that. And I, by doing so, I would have figured out uh, the equation of a plane uh, that goes to these points. Of course, there's other ways to find the equation of a plane. You can watch my videos on section um, on that section. But for now, since these points are fairly straightforward, I, I figured I'd show this trick here. And if I multiply this entire equation by, uh, let me just adjust this. This is y over negative 2. And if I multiply this equation by 16, just to make it look better, I get 16x minus 8y. Plus z. So plus equals one. Okay, so now that I have the equation of this plane, uh, what I could do next uh, in order to parameterize this surface, and I need two variables. Remember, usually it's u, v, but here I have x and y and z. So I can simply set x to equal x, y to equal y, and z, of course, to be... Uh, let's multiply this whole thing by z. I eliminated this, and this became 16 here. Okay, and z would be, if I move everything else the other way, so 16 minus 16x 16 plus 8y. And I know that my surface integral is the same thing as uh, f of x comma y ds, which is equivalent to saying uh, f of x, y, or r of x, y, to be more specific, times the magnitude of the cross product of partial of r with respect to x, times partial of r with respect to y, dA, where a is the rectangular region, d, which we know um, 
I will I will draw region D A in a minute. Let me continue now here. So R X will be partial derivative of R with respect to X. So technically this is my R here. So this will be one zero minus sixteen and R U will be uh, 0, 1, 8, partial of r with respect to y. And uh, sorry about that. This is a cross product, not a dot product. And if I were to take the dot product, uh, cross product between these two vectors, um, I won't show the details here. But I will provide the answer. That first, I will write down what the answer of the cross product will be, and I will take the magnitude. So this turned out to be 16 minus 8 1. And if you were to take the magnitude of this vector the sum of the squares, the square root of the sum of the squares of the components, you will get square root 321. And uh, now uh, let's move on to see what this dA is. So uh, dA is the region bounded by the xy and so far we know that uh, this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. I know that my y-intercept is minus 2 here, my x-intercept is 1, so this is my region D. And uh, the equation of this line will be y equals the slope is 2x and the y-intercept is minus 2. So my region D will be uh, uh, x And y goes from uh, 2x minus 2 all the way up to 0. So I took, so this is my region D right here. It's this triangle. Okay, sorry about that, this is taking a little bit long just because there's a bit of a lag in the system. Okay, and so now that I have that characterized, so uh, I can go ahead and plug in my uh, integral. So I have x ds, so I know that x is just x, so we would get x times. Uh, the, the magnitude of the cross product turned out to be square root of uh, 321, so let's plug that in. And uh, dA is, in this case, the region D will be D y dx and as I indicated um,
uh, this goes from uh, 2x minus 2 just make this a little bit more clear here sorry that this is taking so ever it's annoying me as well uh, so it starts at 2x minus 2 and it goes to 0 that's the y bound and then the x bound as we've indicated goes from 0 to 1 and this is a very straightforward integral to do uh, the I will give the final answer here. Um, so square root 321 over 3. If you are interested in uh, seeing the details of uh, an elementary integral like this, please check out my Calculus 1 videos. On uh, I have plenty of them out there on elementary integrals. Uh, but this uh, is how we evaluate the surface integral on the triangular region. Um, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to uh, like and uh, subscribe.